Alright, so, uh, this is Sige, welcome back to Subnautica. So, I've been cutting in and out, um, I have a few ideas for what I want to do with the episode today. Um, we were working on the base expansion, uh, just a little bit earlier, and for this episode, I think we're gonna do a, a lot more base expansion, and then we're gonna go to the, uh, to the, well, actually, for the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Gun Island, and then we're gonna do more base expansion. It's gonna be crisscrossed, but I want to get a few things done so that you guys can see it. I want you to actually feel like you're getting good content out of the game, so I want to really make this a little bit more immersive. And I don't wanna just spend every single episode diving into the deeps and doing all this craziness, because even though that is fun, it's just not what I want to do every single episode. I don't feel like getting the crap scared out of me all day, every day. Uh, um, so with that being said, I might make a few trips to a few different biomes. I haven't really decided 100% yet, but I think between doing base expansion and upgrades and things like that, it's going to take up a lot of time anyway. So we might do that if uh, we might get into a lot of that and then we'll go to the island and we'll explore more of the gun island because the last time we were there i only had one artifact and i couldn't find another one to get into the other parts of it so i want i definitely want to do that so that you guys can see the other side of the gun island okay i think they're really pushing me towards the sunbeam event too so we might not really have not that we won't have a choice but we kind of want to advance the story at some point all right so let's put another one of these here i don't even know why i'm building these anymore it's not like it's not like the nuclear reactor isn't going to supply enough power. So that needs three leads and a lubricant. I'm almost 100% sure I have enough lead. And I definitely know I have enough lubricant. Okay. I am running low on lubricant though, so I will need to make more of that. But. Wait. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's right. I need to put, like, rods in this, don't I? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Susan. Let me know. Let everyone know that I died being a moron. Um, laser cutter, stasis rifle. Son of a bitch, I have the stasis rifle? I've been sitting here thinking that I need to find the other piece of it and I already have it? Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's just stay focused. Another advanced wiring kit. So more table core, more, more gold, more copper. Whatever. Um, what was I doing? I was looking for reactor rods. Reactor rod, uranite, lead, and glass. A reactor rod. I just need more glass, which I think I have enough for two. Yeah. Don't care about the enameled glass. Okay. So let's hook this bad boy up. Wait, is this? Haha. <laughs> I forgot. I hung those posters and I totally didn't think. I totally didn't think about that. Oh, wait, no. Put that there. Okay. I didn't think about them uh, going through the... I didn't think about the, the door being covered by them. Yes, place it please. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. Cool. So let's head to... And actually, while I'm here, let's re-put in everything. Actually, that's two. That's three. That's four. Where's the habitat builder? That's five. How many potatoes does this thing give me? Oh my lord. It's a lot of potatoes. Wait, how much water do I have? Oh, I have a lot more water. Okay. Um, let's actually, let's put a... Let's actually make this look like a room, please. I don't care what anyone says. The gasopods are the most terrifying sounding creatures other than the warpers because everything else has like such a heavy you know a heavy monstrous presence to it that you know you you sit in there you hear it and you're like i know i'm gonna get wrecked but with those like those just sound diabolical and i'm just not chill with that at all all right double bed for me and my forever aloneness Sometimes I just gotta swap the sides. I could put a trash can and a lab counter and things like that. A sign, I'm not gonna put a damn sign. I will definitely put a bar, a bar table next to my bed so that I will always know that I am a heavy alcoholic. Uh, what is it? Oh, this goes on the wall. Oh, I actually would want that in between. Oh, that's very big. I will not go in between those. Okay. Put that there real quick. Cool. Shelves. Um, and then I'm running over here, but I don't know whether or not I can actually make anything. Um, what is glass and titanium? I should have built the freaking vending machine. And where's the coffee machine? I haven't scanned one yet. I need to find one of those too. Damn it. Um, I need two computer chips, two computer chips, titanium and glass. So let's see if I can make a few things in one run. So I'm not just all over the place. So I need three computer chips, a wiring kit, and four pieces of titanium. That's fine with me. And actually, what does it take to build a fabricator? Wiring kit. All right. So let's see. Four computer chips and two wiring kits. Damn. It's a lot of materials. Wiring kits. Oh, that's just silver ore. No one cares about that. I have. I think I have enough of that. Gold. I just need a lot more copper. That's the the big problem here. I think I have way more than enough gold. All right. I think I need. I only need two of these. Copper wire. Okay. Alright, let's build some more computer chips. Alright, so let's build some copper wire. I think I need three computer chips. I want to put a fabricator on my oh I need another one of those herp and derp um, I want to put a fabricator on my or in my Cyclops actually so that I can craft on the go which will be an essential part of heading into the deeps okay I think I'm going to change out all the batteries while I'm here too. Not that I necessarily am using a lot of these things, but you never know when you're going to need something, and I'd rather it be fully powered and operational than not. I think I've got like a crap load of batteries in here too. Alright, wait, hold on. Let's put these things... Useless glass container. Oh, how nice. 
at least you understand what you are. Let's take some batteries out. I'm just going to change out everything and these power cells. Alright, let's... Yeah, that doesn't really need it. I'm not going to change out a battery on something that's like that. Alright, let's see. Five. And then let's put this into five. And let's put these garbage batteries in here. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And then let's put this habitat builder back in five. I think I have, yeah, I have everything constructed that I need. All right, so modification station. I think I'm actually gonna put that in, I might just build another multi-purpose room off um, off of the moon pool. Um, what do I want instead? I want not this, but I I will also make that. Oh, I need glass. Okay, let's go back and get glass real quick. Oh, and also let's wait for real. It doesn't fit. I need like a regular table I guess maybe just a single wall shelf would do I might want to put glass behind that so I'm not gonna destroy that let's put that let's put this right here or let's totally click it and not actually click it okay Let's put my snacks. Cause you have to have your snacks close to your bed. That's just that's just the way it is. Never will I get this right the first time. Right, that needs a much more prominent display location. One that is fitting of its true glory. There we go. That's right. Give me some damn chips. Totally ridiculous. All right, now let's put this right here. Let's see if I can put, can I put this cap on the shelf? Yeah, I can. All right, that's fine. Anyway, I'm trying to make my room a little more human. All right, anyway, let's make a modification station, the vehicle modification station right there. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Ron suit modules, kyanite. I don't think I've even seen kyanite. Uh, I don't know where to get that. I don't know where to get sulfur. Oh, man. Advanced wiring kit. Jesus, this stuff requires a lot of, of stuff. I mean, 
I get diamonds. That's fine. Diamonds and plasteel ingots and two advanced wiring kits because life hates me. Common modules, pressure compensator. Energy efficiency module. Okay. I need a bunch of extra stuff and I'm not gonna do a lot of that right now. I am gonna get this advanced wiring kit and this plasteel ingot though. That I will do. Because I think I already have the stuff for it. I just need to actually put it up or I need to pull it out of the lockers to make it. So let's do that real quick. Um, what do I need for advanced wiring kits? I always forget. I need a computer chip. A computer chip and gold. Okay. That means I'm going to need to make two more computer chips. Ugh. They're annoying to make. We are going to build a bunch of computer chips and other stuff and do some s and do some stuff there. We're going to finish up the building and then we're going to head over to the island. It's only taken a half hour and change to get that done, you know. Not a big deal, right? Oh, cobble wire. Okay, what do I need for these? Just two gold. Okay. I think that was what I needed. I don't know if that's 100% of what I needed. Let's look. Diamond and plasteel ingots. Okay. Uh, plasteel ingot and computer chip. I do need another computer chip. I need two more computer chips. Really? Like, really? Really? Fine. Two more computer chips. And then that and a plasto ingot. Glass and a plasto ingot. No, diamonds. 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 My brain, I need to focus. Oh, don't tell me that I don't have enough diamonds. There's nothing in there. Oh man, don't tell me that I do not have enough diamonds. I will lose my mind. I think I have just enough diamonds. Okay. Uh, wiring kit. Three wiring kits, two advanced wiring kits. I need to turn this into a plasto ingot. What I need for that. A piece of lithium should be in here. That's lead. That's also not what I need. Lithium. Okay. Plasto ingot. need computer chips so I need four more copper yes I need to also drop off this lead that I'm not using and I'll drop off Nope, actually, I'll just put these into the prawn suit right now because I'm standing here. So I might as w I may as well do such things. Prawn suit, 
Drop in some power cells, drop in some batteries. Okay. No. Open storage. Where do I put the upgrades, sir? How do I upgrade you? There we go. What? Where did it? Oh, oh no. No, you didn't. Friggin' drop those on the ground. Duh. Get out of here. Okay. I just need two pieces of salt. You'd think in a fucking ocean that it wouldn't be hard to find. But it is. And it's so much bullshit. Where is this? Give me your fucking salt. Salt. Salt over here too. Motherfucking salt. Fuck. What is this? Oh, this fucking coral. No. Get, get, get away from me. Ooh, I am... I am in a weird direction. One that is close to reapers. I'm doing dumb things. Dumb things will end me. Will be the end of me, I promise. That? Pretty sure I need like two advanced wiring kits and I'm just an idiot. No. Computer chip and a plasteel ingot. Ah, that's what I need. I need another plasteel ingot. How fun. Looks like I need more plasteel ingots anyway. I think I already got the gravel arm. Yeah. Well, first things first. Let's put in this. Give him a drill arm, and I think I have to make the last piece. I don't remember what I was doing now. Oh no, I have the purple artifact on me. All right, cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hell yes. Aurora rendezvous point, huh? Okay. Oh, this is wonky as all hell. Oh, gold? Is that, is that? Oh, copper ore. Oh. Hell yes. I am so down for the people with this. I mean, did it really only give me six? I feel like it should have given me more than that. What the hell? I hope I've already freaking opened this. Put this in here again. Oh yeah? Cool story. Thanks, man. Oh wow, the textures in here look... look funky.
Yeah. I mean, I guess the upside Excuse me? Excuse me? I guess the upside to uh, uh, yeah Whatever, I guess, I guess I am keep starting and stopping here I guess the upside to me having to put more stuff in here is that the ion crystals are back. So I get more ion crystals. I guess that's an upside. Okay. Let's see. I think this was the part that I got to and then I realized that I needed, yeah, I needed another artifact to continue forward. Alright, cool. It would be super assholeish of them to put like a warper right in there. But I mean if I was a dev I'd totally do that, just like scare the shit out of people. I guess this portal is deactivated. I guess you would have to turn it on from the research facility. Huh. Okay. Thank you for that purple artifact. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Thank you, Susan. I figured that out as well. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Not like I can deactivate this bad boy, but can't I scan this? Really? No? Can't, can't do it? Oh. Oh no. Yeah, no thanks. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. So wait, is that all? Is that the only thing in here? Oh, there is more stuff. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information mm. Well, I was here because pretty sure that uh, that would have been a good idea. But I'm a dum dum, and I just do dum dum things all the time. So it's uh oh, that looks like a weird frog monster. Uh, oh, okay. 
enough. Aurora rendezvous point. All right, let me see if I can find any more useful things around here. Real quick. What the hell is this? Huh. So wait, there's actually like useful things around here? I can't scan these big power monsters. That's more magnetite. Oh, you motherfucker. Stay the fuck away from me. Dude, for real? Like, are you that salty? Can you just let me, like, scan this, please? 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 Thank you. Bye. Okay, I was right. I had not picked it up before. And even if they're not responding to you. God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I, can I dock, please? Can I, can I dock, please? Well, Thank you. Captain. Oh man, this thing is rough. It's a lot of HP. I am gonna build a spotlight real quick though, just so that there is one on my base. Spotlight. So you can kinda see it. I mean, I know it glows anyway, but still, I like it. Alright, uh, that's enough for this episode, guys. Uh, I'm gonna call it here. I have. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can see all this from out here. That's weird, but also really awesome. Um, I think in the next episode, we're going to look at... I don't know. I think for the next episode, we're probably going to look at uh, doing more upgrades to the prawn suit, finding more things in regards to that. CMOS Solar Charger, Perimeter Defense, Sonar. Um, I think I'm going to look into the modification station, see what other things I need in there. As it is, there's a lot of farming involved. So I might just do a bunch of farming off camera for the different compensators and things like that so that I'm all stocked up. And then I will actually go and do the CMOS, I mean, do the Sunbeam incident in the next episode. And we'll kind of take it from there. But I think for right now, I'm just going to call it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.